KPIX 5's Andrea Borba joins us now from Seton Medical Center in Daly City, where healthcare workers are desperate for some of this protective medical gear. Andrea? Well, Ken, the state of California has leased five floors and 177 beds here at Seton Medical Center in Daly City to treat COVID-19 patients. Nurses here and across the country say there is simply not enough protective gear to safely do the job. Across the Bay Area, state and nation, the plea is the same from nurses and frontline health care workers. There is not enough personal protective equipment. One and 95 per shift. One face shield for a papper if you're lucky enough to be using a papper. Um, and then there's another face shield that we're each being issued one, and it is your one and only one that you're responsible for. Phoebe Minkler is an ICU nurse at Daly City Seton Medical Center. Things that the CDC didn't used to recommend, things that we were taught for years and years as far as infection control, to, to use the same mask to go to two different patient rooms, um, I probably would have been disciplined for in the past. Um, now we're doing it, obviously, because we have to ration everything we have. The president of Seton, Anthony Armada, says trailers of supplies are coming more than half empty. We ordered enough PPEs from our vendors, which we are right now getting an average of about 20% fill rate. Armada acknowledges that rationing is happening. He says 15,000 N95 masks were delivered today, and that supply should last 25 days. The N95s right now is a shift-long uh, protection. It's the same at UCSF hospitals. They are issued an N95, as I understand it, and then if it's soiled or dirty, then they'll get a new one. Typically, all of the PPE would be swapped out for every patient. Clearly, we'll want to make sure that we get back to our normal routine of making sure that those PPEs are used appropriately. Third year Stanford medical student Kelly Zhang has been running PPE drives. Started off by asking a couple of hospitals whether we could give you them some PPE, and now we're getting overwhelming requests. Now, Kelly and other medical students from Stanford are holding a PPE drive this weekend. Starting tomorrow in Mountain View, you will find information on our website, kpix.com, about where that is exactly. Live in Daly City tonight, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.